Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're here in the DevNet Zone with our friends from Cisco Certifications, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. My name is Yusuf Baiji. I'm the Senior Manager for the Certifications Program Team, responsible for all the engineering software certification as well as the new DevNet certifications. Wow. And I'm Anna Rubin, also with Learning at Cisco, and I'm going to be developing these new DevNet certifications for Learning at Cisco. I think that we have witnessed a huge transformation in our IT industry and we have the traditional networks, we have the infrastructure, but now we have a modern way to apply that infrastructure. And developer community is now going to be even more relevant. Software development has been there for decades. It's nothing new. And Cisco as a company also has been developing software for decades. But now we are taking that to the next level and showing how it combines the infrastructure and all the development together. So it's a new way to do networking. You've been very busy. So tell us about some of the work behind the scenes you've been doing in preparation before this announcement. Absolutely. We've been working on this for over a year, trying to make sure that we have everything in line and that we're listening to what our customers want, listening to what hiring managers need, listening to what the future holds so that we can be out ahead of that curve. So we have all the policies, all the procedures you're hearing about today, all of the new exams this week. We've been developing them. We've been designing these blueprints. We've been looking at um, how to make sure no one's left out. Everyone has a home and everyone gains. So a lot of people out there have questions. Where can they go if they have questions about what this means for them? I think there are two places they can go start with. So there are two links that are very landing page. So it's cisco.com forward slash next level. That's the first link. And for all the developer certification, they can go to developer.cisco.com forward slash certification. So they can find information in both places. Great. And what would you recommend for people who want to take these next steps as they wait for the curriculums to roll out? What can they do to get started now? Absolutely. Well, the blueprints for all of these exams, for the CCNA, the CCMP, the DevNet Associate and the DevNet Professional, they are online now, this week. You can look at these blueprints, understand what these certifications are going to represent. Then training for all of these is going to start rolling out this summer and into the fall. So you will be ready on February the 24th, 2020, to start getting the recognition that you've earned. So tell us about the global community. We're here at Cisco Live US, and we have the other Cisco Lives. So how are you going to roll out this message? What previews can you give us? So definitely this message is an ongoing journey. It starts here, it starts this calendar year, and it will roll out ongoing. We are going to announce new programs, new uh, concentrations, and it will go through Cisco Live Melbourne, Cisco Live uh, Europe, and throughout the journey. Fantastic, okay, I have the question of the week for both of you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Developer or engineer? Oh, both. You know, in the way um, technology is evolving, you're going to have to have a little bit of both or a lot of either one. So it's hard to make a decision between one or the other for me. I like that. A little bit of both or a lot of either one. And what say you? Well, uh, I, I have my personal background. I come from a developer background. Before, way back, I have a master's degree in software. So I actually transitioned from software to a network. So I am now in, as an engineer, but then I also have a developer background so I can safely say that there is a there is a place for both there is, you need the engineer you need the developer and they complement each other to make the network work make the network work find more information on developer.cisco.com thank you